Hello everyone, what's up? I'm Haku and I'm back for y'all with a new Inism 11 Ghost Strikers video on my channel. We are almost through with the Ragnarok Strikers Extreme Tournament number 5. And boy, it has been a journey. Um, this time we can actually play against Alexis, he fixed this game. Um, so we can play again. We did test that before and now we're here. Up and ready to play the loser semi final of the fifth Ragnarok Ghost Strikers Extreme Tournament. Alexis is coming to us with no mesh. Bringing on the Kurius threat, interestingly. Just like Chuck did, seems to be. Ah, uh, but he executes it really well. Yeah, that's the one already. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to have done there. Uh, 104 Alexis. Oh, that's fine. We'll just make Max Gamma here. We're training here. Bit earlier than usual. Hoping for Minamisawa to do some work here. 202 should work. If they're charged, they're not. But it's such a Mukai Maj in the hunt, so that's good for us, I guess. Lucky that we wasted a part of our time max though. Actually, we might just use cannon here to get the ball off Alexis, or we don't. We can initiate. He does it first, getting our Sakuma here, and this is another chance. For Alexis. I might just give it to Kitaki honestly. No pass it into the middle, but it's fine. Torbus there cuts the pass. I don't know what that was there, but in the end we do have the ball again. I think everyone was just confused here. We're initiating with Saru here. Might just play 1-2 pass to get him off for Exactly, his torps charged though, so I do want to get out of there, exactly. I'll actually take the ball back here. So now we have a new chance. He throws a zero time. We'll just give the ball all the way over to Saryu again. Uh, I think we pass here. That's fine. We just pull back with Saru. Give it over to Tayo. Initiates with Fudo again. Oh, 
We have one more charge left. I just... Oh, Magaru just charged. I did hear that. Okay, we get a foul. We also saw cannon charge, so that's insane value. And his foot for the third time just in her beats. But this Gamma should still have enough to charge. Minami saw us there and so are Kanon and Goenji. So this will be the 1-1 one -one unless we just played out incredibly shitty. We're getting in the Kanon 2 for the additional value. Also the few meters hoping to knock over on Izuka. Yes, it works! Alexis has the ball again, which means now his turn to attack, he just uncharges everyone, keeps his Kido there, okay, we baited out his Kido at least, and also took his Fudo now. This is everything here. We just pass it off. We actually gets stopped here as Fudo traps the ball and now he brings it up with pass play. Sakuri is pushing here. Just well played by Alexis. Passes it back to take away our hero time and just dashes into the goal here. Quite literally nothing we could do there. Have to wait a little. Chorp takes the ball. Just hope we can score again here. There's the chain with Saru. 12 RNG, 197. We know Minamisawa's charged. Minamisawa lining the forwards and that's a goal. Onizuka's not charged. Two. We're getting close to half time. Would be good to finish it at to finish the half at two two honestly. 
so I, I already know what I'm gonna do in the second half. But firstly, there's just Kanon here. Not doing it. Is he going for a Hakuryu chain? I think he is going for a Hakuryu chain. Oh, but Kazumaru's there. Kazumaru should block that. We were dodging Fudo. Rokoko went out, so I have to use Onizuka here. I just try to get last chain off. Nope, we don't. Two two at half time. But we're kinda doing the game. We're not doing bad actually. So we're just gonna play guard keys again, just like we did against Chuck. Uh, we're gonna go Tenchu down the middle, obviously. Actually gonna switch those two now. Um, definitely the score for Goenji, because that'll just make us score, I know it. Um, also, Tona's Candy. And obviously the guard boost for Tenma. Yeah, let's also switch around Kirino and Tobe. Because Tobe on the top is better in my opinion if he keeps his Kitaki there. And Kirino's also good against Kido who is on the bottom. As well as Hakuryu who will probably be replaced by Tenma. So let's see what Alexis prepared for us in the second half. Alexis in the second half usually is really strong. I'm used to facing him in a body mirror. So this definitely will be new. He's bringing in Tayo probably as a defender? As a middle defender possibly. We're not gonna uncharge Goenji. Oh, he has his Kinaka at the bottom too. Is this Kinok at the bottom too, so no one will be able to pass ever? We just mix Max Drew here. Staying here, there goes the shot from Kinako. 182 power. This could be enough to score if Goenji's there and he is. 229. He didn't change goalkeeper if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's a goal. 3-2. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Insane gaming moment. 2-3. Okay. Uh, good enough for cannons uncharged, even if he got knocked away by his uncharging Tenma here. There goes his Kirino in the middle, I believe. So we can't chain through the middle no more. Because I'm very certain that Alexis is fond of the double block strategy. He doesn't have any Tenma on the bottom. So I'm actually gonna make Shmax Tor. Before that even, he gives us an opportunity to just stop him here. Yeah, Kinako gets knocked away. But also doesn't. And I tried to keep the ball here, but he moves his Kinako just right. For me to be unable to knock him away. And now he attacks over his Tenma, hitting two to three people with this move. He's 
still has Tayo there. Oh, and Sakuma with the gaming moves. Sakuma with the gaming moves. Stopping Alexis Tayo unexpectedly. Now we might be in the gaming business here. We're just taking some free charge here. Kazumaru stops this Tenma as well. Oh, and the pass is not far enough. It's Tenshu vs. Tenshu, he just passed it into the middle. Bros. Sakuma's here. Passed it into the middle again? What the fuck was Rokoko doing? Kinda throwing it forward here. Well, throwing seems to be the perfect thing to call this. Kind of through there, forcing him to an initiate here now. But he goes in. He goes in not weak, but now there's Tenshu on the way. Ah, no Tenshu gaming moment. He comes in with Kinako. And he almost got away here. But Torp shams in. Torp does chime in there, Sakuma with the chain. Yeah, we'll just chain here. Who's killing no reach? He does. Ah. Unlucky. the ball here in my hero time now exactly that is what he does shoots it forward we predict it he shoots it further forward and there's this Tayo dribbling with spark edge there's his mix max. I just hope we're able to get tension on there. We are. They keep tying, and now it's Kitaki doing the move. Taking the ball from Torp, who just stole it. We're still on Sakuma he initiates again. Passes it all the way back. But in the end, there is Kirin intercepting here. And still 2-2. No, not 2-2, it's 3-3. Three, three. 
which doesn't really change anything. And Kirin will lose the ball to Torp here. That might be really bad for us. Oh, but Torp's cl Torp clears it out. Okay, okay. Sakuma here, Sakuma on the roll, Sakuma on the roll. His Onizuka's there. Omina Misa was not charged anymore, going through the middle wouldn't have done anything. Away with Torp. Just gives it back and forth. We mix Max Torp now. And we're still equal to all of his attackers on that side, but we don't have any TP anymore. Oh, but actually, Tentra gets the ball here, and this might be the gaming. This might be the gaming move. Never mind, we do lose the ball here. And it's the 30th minute. And Alexis might have the last chance here. He doesn't. 3-3. The match ends 3-3, so you'll get an overlength part today again. As we'll have to do a rematch. Same teams, obviously. I think we did pretty well. Match request coming in right away. Uh, you might see a bit of nothing now because I got selected Go Raymond. So we'll have to restart the game here. Also, definitely be prepared for the upcoming times while I restart the game. I hope you're seeing everything again. Yep, you are. Um, be prepared for the upcoming times because the Ghost Strikers World Cup will be held very soon. And I definitely will upload to the World Cup. I'll stream all the matches on my Twitch. www.twitch.tv slash Andy underscore Haku. I will upload the bots on my YouTube channel as well. If you do happen to miss one of the streams, you'll be able to watch it right here on this channel. Um, yeah, and also I will upload World Cup preparation. Just doing fun matches against... German players, all German commentary, just like the World Cup streams, will be where I will cast all of the Dach matches, so Germany, Austria and Switzerland, all forming one team. Uh, we're back online now, should get the invite very soon. Accepted the match. Let's hope the second match will bring a victory. Uh, so we can didn't want to work there, but that's fine. We'll just go to the same jam again, quite literally. Uh, let's invite him, Icy Bebe.
invited him. Let's just hope he accepts. This is actually the error we got the last time where we couldn't play. Uh, if it doesn't work, we'll have to switch servers, even though Wimfy is the preferred server after all. We declined here to avoid the Goraemon bug. Um, I don't want to play with Goraemon as much as I kind of don't like the team, but we're here to go all out with our real teams. Let me just confirm I picked the correct team. Pick it again. You can just scroll like 30 seconds up front until the match starts. If we'll have to switch servers, you'll definitely see that there. Okay, it doesn't seem to work again, so let's just switch servers real quick. You might once again see nothing for a little while. It's always quite a pain to be able to switch between the servers, but there's no other choice that we have here, and the game should be right up. I don't know what caused it to bug again. Just seemed weird really, but yeah, let's just go with the server. I'll have to redo my team here. Let's just hope that I do everything correctly. Um, so you'll actually be able to kind of see the team building. If you don't care about the team building, just go scroll past either way. Not that it really matters. So, for the goalkeeper, once again, Rokoku Urupa. Our defense consisting of Kazumaru Legend Japan, Sakuma Legend Japan, Torb, Onizuka, Wherever he is, he's a bit further away, and Tayo for the first half, here, on the wings, Gamma and Saru. For starting off the chains, Saru, there he is, as a middle trainer. Minamisawa Atsuchi, I believe. And as the final trainers, Endo Kanon and Inazuma Legend of Japan. Go and check. For the bench, in terms of keys, we have Sane and Kirino for the guard keys that I just played against Alexis. And we also have Raymond Tenma and Kinako for the body keys. I think the last replacement was who was the last replacement after all? I believe it was Genius. Just in case that we do happen to face someone who plays 
Tachimukai Mauda Hand or just generally Senguji. So, yeah, obviously that's not the right formation. You can see that this was a fun port rather before. So, Rokoko obviously as a goalkeeper. Chain starter, Saru and Gamma. Works fine. Was it Gamma and Tu? Gamma and Tu Kanon. Onizuka as the middle. Heart keys, body keys. Looks about right. He's there, so we have it easier to switch. Now, more most importantly, the move sets. Temashi Dant, God Hand X, God Hand. With X Blast, let's remove those two. Give him Naruko Otoshi. Give him Deep Jungle, obviously. Um, we want to play Air Bullet, obviously, not Crazy Sunlight. We want that block, just in case. Also, the additional safety against Tenma. Fujin no Ma is a dribble, Deep Jungle as a block. Because Deep Jungle, Kazumaru is superior no matter what. We'll play the level 3 shot only and the armed. Actually, I believe I had only the armed. The level 3 was just in the Mixmax. I don't play the level 2 shot. It would be possible in chains, but I just prefer to have that extra moment to initiate if I need to. Spark Edge Dribble, Crazy Sunlight, and Arm Ryu Sebered for Tayo on Torp, the Cash In, obviously, and Acrobat Keep. Saru with his defense Satsu, please. Deco Release, Shell with Burst, and the level 1 chain. Actually, we could even put Dragon Blaster on him, but I don't want to be unfair because I had Shell with Burst on him, I know that. So I'm not going to cheat my way out of this and use him as a trainer now. So there's Claymore and Panther Blizzard on Yukimura. Here's Screwdriver, Round Spark. Maximum Fire, as it's the better training move. And obviously Bakunetsu Storm the Cashin. And for Kanon we just keep the move set. Sane, Dribble and Heaven Drive. Not like he can use Shadow Ray either way. Deep Mist Armed, Melody Wave, even though we'll Mixmax him. For Tenma, Goalkeeper Asatsu, very important. Block Asatsu, Wonder Trap, even though it will transform to the, ar uh, to the Armed. Shoot, only Mach Wind Chain, which will also turn to the level 3 Black Ash here. And Kazana Drive as a level 3 Dribbling, so we also have it in the Tantrum Mixmax. Kinako gets her Skywalk, Yakimochi screws, he can't, she can't do her armed shot, we still give her armed Mochi Mochi, Kinako Mochi. He gets all the lead, we're using Tenku Otoshi since it's the better move and also checkmate, kinda just like Goenji. Let's also pick the correct badge there and the correct uniform as well. Which was, I believe, Tenmas, exactly. And with that, let's go into the match. If you didn't skip all of this, thank you for the watch time, firstly. And secondly, uh, I hope you understand like this already, how I build my team. If you want, you can just leave a comment down below. If I'm, s If I should go over my team more clear. Um, yeah, but let's go third search, I assume. Same theme. Going into the third search. And let's see what will happen in this second match. And if we will actually find each other now, else I'll have to cut the video close and I'll upload a second part explaining whether it'll work, whether it'll not work, or whatever happens. Should work, however, I highly doubt that it won't work, even though it's taking a bit long to charge now. We 
get the arrow again. Okay. Uh, let's try friend code on this other server works. We'll just send a mine real quick. There we go. We'll add him to one four six zero two eight eight nine three nine one zero. Added him. Connecting to the Wi-Fi seems to work. Let's just hope it actually charges his profile so that we can play. Because the last time was a real pain and I don't want to disqualify anyone here. We get the quest. It's still not working. Okay, so he's restarting the game. We'll just wait for a minute. If that doesn't work, then I'll actually cut the video here and just start doing it again. Once we have the error fixed. If that does happen, uh, I will definitely upload that on the same day as this video is coming online. Well now Alexis is getting an error code 61 Zero ten. Yeah, he needs to fix something, so that's it for this video. And definitely stay tuned since the second video of this match will come out probably one hour later than this video. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in the second part.